everyone, I'm Brooke on behalf of Interior Motions, and today I will be speaking to Jean Marie Di Giovanna. Jean Marie is a leadership keynote speaker, corporate trainer, and executive coach. Today, we will be discussing innovation and creativity in the workplace. Hi, Jean Marie. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hello. It's great to meet you. Thank you. So as a part of your leadership program, you often use a paper cup to get participants thinking outside of the box. Can you further explain the cup exercise for those who aren't familiar and describe what you have observed from doing it? Yes, sure. So um, in the six month program, I do one of the days, um, it's basically six days over a six month period, but in virtual, it can be a lot less <laughs> because we break it up. But um, one of the exercises I do is uh, a, a very common improv exercise where we take an object. I happen to use a coffee cup because it's typically what is at my client site. Mm -hmm. And you simply just um, ask, you know, I divide the group up into small groups and give them one coffee cup that might look like this. Here's a little mini one because <laughs> I'm currently working in Italy. So we've got the espresso <laughs> cups. doesn't matter what size. Um, and you just give, this is a speed exercise. It's literally giving the team five minutes to come up with as many uses of this cup as possible. And so the team just starts brainstorming. Oh, it could be a planter pot for herbs. It could be, um, you know, you could put a hole on one end of it and tie a string to it. And, you know, so, and the beautiful thing is once an idea comes up, the next person then is triggered and it sparks a new idea. So it's just a very simple and powerful exercise to get ideas rolling, to mm -hmm. really just get moving. Mm -hmm. So why do you think it's important for businesses to prioritize creativity and innovation? Well, first and foremost, um, I actually feel that innovation is going to be, if not already is, a competitive advantage right now um, for companies who innovate, which is different. Creativity inspires the innovation. And so um, the more that we can think out of the box, that we can think about how we do things differently, the faster we can advance and we can not only su uh, support new uh, programs for our employees, but also new products and new ways of working with our clients. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other pieces of advice for leaders trying to evoke creativity in the workplace? Um, yes, I have a couple of other fun exercises that are so short. Um, literally, uh, if you have a dictionary nearby, I know it sounds kind of odd, but if you literally open up a dictionary or any book that's nearby, point your finger to a word, and take whatever challenge you're facing right now and apply that word to the challenge. And it's called forced connections. When we force two things that are completely opposite, it, it rewires our thinking and helps us think differently. So it's really just about getting ourselves out of our own box and coming up with new thoughts and being inspired by that. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are great insights. Thank you so much for being here today, Jean Marie. My pleasure. Thank you.